In today's video, I will show you how to transform this fox image into this amazing fox image. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can download all images that I've used to create this image in the description. Alright, so we start off by opening a new document with these dimensions. I've already opened mine here. And the first thing we want to do is we want to import our Fox image. So what we do is we find our image folder, we select the Fox image and we just copy and paste it into our project. As you can see, the Fox now is way too big for our canvas. So how we can solve this or how we can make our Fox smaller is by double clicking the thumbnail icon. This will zoom us out to um, so that the image of the fox fits into our canvas or into our working space. And by pressing V to select the move tool, we can now just drag one of these corners in. And by pressing command, it will actually resize from the center, as you can see. So what I want to do now is I just want to make sure I have snapping on and I want to place it exactly, oops, here. And now I press Command-0 to zoom back in, turn off snapping again. And there is our first image. The second thing that we want to do is we open the image of the butterfly. So copy and paste. And we want to cut out our butterfly. So we want to get rid of the background. And how are we going to use that? Um, in this situation, I would use the uh, selection brush tool and just brush over the butterfly to select it. I will increase the brush size with the bracket keys, uh, zoom in a little bit and just select the butterfly. All right, so you can see I made a little mistake here. Um, it's pretty easy to solve if we just decrease the brush size and we hold alt and brush over it it will uh, delete from its selection so now let's take some time to fine-tune our selection and I want to make sure these white things are also included in our selection now they are pretty hard to see, but when we enter quick mask mode by pressing Q, it's a lot easier. So let's fix this a little bit better. All right. Usually I would take way more time to select stuff, but I just want to show you in this tutorial how I created this image and just to make you able to recreate something like this and not to create an exact copy but if you want to that doesn't matter of course so once we're done fine-tuning our selection let's see if I didn't miss anything well, that looks pretty nice. Um, I press Q to um, exit quick mask mode and zoom out a little bit. And what I do now is I want to refine our selection. So we press refine. And we're going to press apply. We ramp the, um, the edge a little bit to the inside. And now we press apply and we mask out our butterfly by pressing here. So there's our butterfly and what we want to do now is we would like to place the butterfly on the face of the fox. So let's grab our move tool by pressing V, select the layer of the butterfly and reposition it to where we want it to be. Oopsie. And for me, that's right about here I will reduce the opacity so that they can see through and I think maybe turn it 
I think this would be the perfect place. Maybe a little smaller. So let's say we want our butterfly here. Um, now I think I will increase the opacity to back to 100%. And I think the butterfly looks a little flat because the picture was taken from exactly above the butterfly. So I would like to change the shape a little bit with the deform tool. And all we have to do is press some anchor points and these are points that will stay. And when I now make one point here and click and drag the point, the point will move. So we can deform our butterfly to our liking. <clears throat> and I think something like this looks pretty okay. When we're happy, we press apply and you can see the before and after. And I think it looks pretty good. So what I want to do now is, um, well, I think the butterfly is a little bit too bright. So I will um, open a level adjustment layer, clip it to the butterfly by dragging it down here. And I want to increase the black just a little bit, just a touch to match it more with this darker colors and to decrease the whites a little bit or the highlights I should say alright that looks good so what I would like to do now is to uh, brighten up our butterfly but only on specific um, at specific spots so we will re uh, we will create a exposure layer and boost up the brightness. Let's say like so, and then we invert the mask. So I do that by pressing Command I, and as you can see now, the adjustment layer doesn't affect the butterfly anymore because it has a black layer mask. But as soon as we brush over with white. You can see that the butterfly starts to like glow a little bit. And I would like to add a little glow to some certain parts. All right, that looks good. So before and after. The next thing that we want to do is uh, we want to create more glow, of course, because glow is awesome. So what we do is we open a new layer and um, we set it to, let's just keep it at normal for now. And let's pick an, uh, an orange color, but it can be pretty dark. Maybe something like this is okay. And what we want to do now is we want to set the blending mode to color dodge and brush over our butterfly and as you can see it starts to glow wait I'll start on the butterfly itself as you can see it starts to glow but I also want to add the glow outside of the butterfly so I reduce the opacity because otherwise the effect is too strong and increase the flow to about 100 and now we just start to paint in some glow around the butterfly and that looks pretty nice actually we can play a little bit with the opacity to fine tune our glow I think 80% is fine to add some more glow um, because there's not enough yet we add another layer we use the same darker orange color and we set the blend mode to add and what I would like to do now is to create some highlights in some of the wing parts so let's say put up as the up again let's say this one this one this one delete it here a little bit 
this one. Let's color the body as well, or brighten up the body. And this uh, fiery look, which looks pretty cool. And maybe this one. And this one. All right. Let's see how that looks. Cool. Let's reduce the opacity of this layer as well, a little bit to about 50%. And there we go. We've got some glows. This one is also a glow. One more glow that we like that I would like to add is more like a general glow. And I do this by pressing and we're creating a new layer. Zoom out a little bit and create a brighter dot. So let's add some brightness and increase our brush to pretty big and just click once. And I think I want it more orangey. Something like this. And now just click once. And now we drag this one over our butterfly. Increase the size a little bit. All right, and change the blending mode to screen. And put the opacity down to just about here. All right, so these layers are all glows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them together. Select the first layer, shift click on the last layer that you want to select and press command G to group them together. As you can see, all the glows are in one folder now and I'm going to rename this glow. Let's rename this butterfly and foxy. All right, so let's turn back on the glow. And I don't want the glow to be affected here because this should be shadow because of the nose. So I create a mask layer, select it and press D to go back to the default colors, black and white. Grab my brush again, decrease the size by using the bracket keys and painting in with black just where you don't want the effect or the glow oh with black that looks a lot better so now it's time to refill the eyes of our fox I think because he's he couldn't see anything the whole time um, so we go to our butterfly layer and I don't want to actually we can I would just create a mask layer and reduce the opacity of the butterfly to about 50% something like that make sure to pick the layer the right layer and brush over the eyes with black and remind you black hides and white reveals so now let's there we go let's put the opacity to 100 here and now i want to blend in the eyes and the, the fox and the butterfly a little bit because it gives a fun effect so i reduce the opacity and i just start brushing slightly lightly around the eyes so now it looks more like a blend I think too, a little bit too much so I want to draw with white over it a little bit again with a really low opacity so there we go now our fox can at least see us um, alright now I think it's time to darken the background to put emphasis on our glowing butterfly and we're gonna do that by creating a 
an uh, exposure layer and just turn up turn down the opacity and as you can see it's only affecting fox layer at the moment which is perfect and we're gonna reduce the opacity to about here and we're gonna brush over the adjustment layer mask with white to hide some of the darkened parts so let's put our opacity up to let's say first 100 percent to reveal foxy again and put the opacity down a little bit then we're gonna reveal other parts and I skip this part and this part because it kind of gives a nice vignette like so and I want to brighten up some parts of the background as well because this one this little glowing guy also reflects some light here so let's say this one and maybe give it a more orangey look the whole scene so we would I can do that with a white balance put it above the exposure and get it a little bit more orange and maybe put the glow a little bit down And I think it's a little bit too bright, the butterfly, so I will turn this exposure layer a little bit down. Alright, that looks better. So, um, the next thing that we can do is we can add the sparkles of the butterfly. So we go back to our image folder. Ah oh wait, I forgot about the nose flare. Let's do that first. Uh, select the nose flare and come on C, command V the nose flare into our project and what it practically is is a nose flare so I'm gonna put it on the nose of the fox set the blend mode to screen and change its form and there we have our nose flare and gives a subtle fun effect I think Alright, so next thing is the sparkles. We go back to our image folder and grab the sparkles and paste it into our project. And let's first make it a little smaller so we can see the whole image of the sparkles. And I want to make sure that this is real black because if I put it into screen mode now you can see the edges. And we don't want that. We want to make it... Um, like this sh shouldn't be visible so we can do that by making a levels adjustment layer clip it to this layer to our sparkles and now we just increase the blacks until where we cannot see something like that I think Increase the white a little bit. Maybe I just choose another blend mode. Lighten. There we go. Alright. So, we used lighten instead of screen. It seems to work better in this case. And all we want to do now is position it somewhere here. Let's do it once like here. And of course we can reshape the whole thing, but actually it doesn't matter for now. Um, let's copy this one, make a duplicate 
and flip it by right clicking and going to transform and flip horizontal and put it somewhere here this looks pretty good and now we group them together by clicking both and pressing command selecting both I mean both layers and pressing command G and if we create a layer mask now we can erase these parts because the you can pretty clearly see that it's like cut off another image so we want to blend it together a little bit better and we do that by just brushing with a lower opacity just brushing it out a little bit the harsh edges there we go and I can see now that the, the edges, the black parts of the butterfly are a little bit too red so I just want to give it a color balance layer and you can see that the dark tones are too red so we go to the shadows and we decrease the red something like so and what color do we have more okay i think that's good and i want to make it even darker so i will add a maybe i can use this one i just boosted or i increased the blacks a little bit all right so there's one more thing that we gotta do now and that's um to add our last sparks so we copy and paste it into our file and we do the same thing we position it and I hold command and shift now so I can stretch it to any direction that I want and we're gonna set the layer or the blend mode to screen and this gives us our little sparkles we reduce the opacity a little bit and maybe their brightness a little bit with a level adjustment layer let's see this one something like that and that wonderful people is how i created this image of the magical butterfly and sparkling foxy whatever um yeah thanks for watching if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment on what you would like to see next. If you enjoy my content, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Then I hope I will see you in my next video.